Hello guys, welcome to another video of Redneck Ways. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing fine. Hope everybody's doing great on this cold day here. I think it's January, no it's February the 3rd. My goodness, we're time going. But anyway, I got another video here, another radio to go over. And then before we get to that, I'd like to show uh, one of my old magazines like I always like to do. I love uh, history. I love uh, love all the stuff back in the back in the day. This one is back in I think 70s. This is uh, January of 1970. I don't have my glasses on. Yes, January 1970. So let me turn this camera around and I'll get to her. Maybe if I can figure it out. Okay, there we are. Um, I love the artwork. They're just slipping and sliding. How to drive and stay alive in the winter. And of course, you got your uh, how to how do you make a better cigarette? And I was flipping through the page before I got on here, and just looking at this old telescope this guy's made. I don't know, a golden hammer, a train that you can ride around your backyard. Miller High Life Craftsman Old drill with a cord Nurses Ten nine eight seven six. get it but yeah I love these old books I got a good deal on them here um, a couple years ago <clears throat> and I have enjoyed them see new rubber stamp business page beginners up to 16 and a half an hour huh. come up there's fun Video How to Get Rich. I uh, need to read that. Nineteen seventy GTO rides on a hundred and twelve inch wheelbase, runs on go go three sixty horsepower V eight with her shifter. Man, it's nice. And I just lost it. <laughs> How to build your own ATV. And there's all the instructions. Somebody out there wants to build one. That's uh, another thing. I, what I like about this uh, magazine. Uh, every month they put uh, something out there. That you can make if you wanted to. There's the rest of it. And there's the rest. It don't look like a very complicated build. You would definitely need a welder and a metal bender. That's something that I really need to invest in as a metal bender. Alrighty, guys. Um, today, um, I'm going to show you all my um, vintage uh, 
Unitech CX955R. It's a, a boombox, FM, AM cassette, and detachable speakers. Yeah, can you believe it? Detachable speakers. And here she is. Get the lean back without breaking anything. This was made in 1987. It has AM and FM. It has um, your counter, tape counter. It has, which I should have wiped that off before I made this video. Um, here's your functions right here you got your AM your FM and then your stereo I think maybe this automatically kicks on stereo they got it wrote so, so, so small no it's tape FM and AM yeah, tape um, it'll give some light on the situation here there we go tape FM, AM, and then here's your mood. And I'm sorry, guys, I should have wiped that off. Looks like Cheetos or something on there. But it's got uh, m mode, which is, yeah, there's the, well, it's the mono, and then the stereo, and then wad. And then on the tape, um, normal, uh, CRO2, metal, PB. Which I really don't know. I guess that's the quality of the recording that you want to make. And here's your volume. And your balance. And your microphone. And then here's your EQ. And like I said, your counter. And here's your tape player. Um nice smooth inject and your uh, left speaker with a tweeter and your right speaker another tweeter um, your tuning knob and right here when we turn it on you'll see it that's your um, stereo lot that comes on and also, this is uh, your EQ lot. We'll see that when it comes when I plug it in. Um, here a while back, I was excited to go look and see. And I thought this one actually had AM stereo also, but it don't. Um, I wish it did. I'd love to find one of those radios that had AM stereo. I'm on the search. It has also a nice handle. Nice and smooth, and it floats back. Nice. It's got a, um, let's just turn this thing around. It has a nice antenna, which actually, they put a little in, inset here, so you can put your fingers, your fingers in there real easy and get your antenna up. Um, you have your um, EXT mic, external mic, I guess it would be. You got your right and your left. Um, it runs on six uh, D size batteries, which is right here, your little compartment. The last owner, which he has, uh, he is deceased now, but he. Uh, wrote every, everything he has he uh, he wrote on he uh, kept up this is what the old timers would do guys uh, D cells all good September 22nd of 98 I uh, don't know what that says on there on the bottom but when I, I took the batteries out when I got it and um, I've had it for about three years but uh, all that time there was no battery leak, leakage so I um, got lucky there. There's no corrosion. 
but yes that does just leave that little note right there in the radio it goes back in and then down here is your um, your AC plug in with this um, type of plug I don't I don't know what's that that type of plug is called it's on a lot of um, things especially back in the 70s and 80s 90s and on, right here on your speakers this is your left speaker he's got it labeled it's got a wall hanger and then also it's got a nice um, uh, clip here so you can wrap your cable around your uh, wire and speaker wire and also it's got a nice like uh, earphone jack that uh, plugs in and makes it all clean same thing over here he's got labeled right with your wall hanger all um, your wire all nice and wrapped around the holder and here's the label Unitech portable compact stereo radio cassette recorder. Um, the power is AC 120, 200 volt, 220 volts, um, 60 at 550 hertz, 10 watts. Uh, source DC, um, that'd be a, a 9 volt D size times 6. This was all, this was made in Korea. E6. Three, one, six, is the, one of the numbers on it. Um, I, I just think it's cool. They like label. I don't know why they would, but antenna screw. There you go, antenna screw. Warning, shock hazard. Not open. Oh, do not open. I was getting ready to say why didn't they add do? Um, I guess that's Spanish, which I say. This was probably the beginning of them putting Spanish on uh, pieces, <coughs> excuse me, pieces of um, American technology. I could be wrong about that, but I don't, I never remembered it much till about 1992. I never saw Spanish on anything, so. And then also down here, you got your caution, risk of an electrical shock. Do not open. Um, it says this unit is adjusted to 120 volts operated, operation. And then on your speaker down here, your right speaker, it says your external right. And then it also has your external left. They did a nice job and um, labeled everything. I just dropped my pointer. And then it's turned on its bottom. Here's the bottom of it. Let me see if I can switch it around in here so we can see it good. Not upside down. Alrighty, guys. That previous owner had wrote uh, Christmas of 87. So I guess that's when he purchased it. Um, to, re to release your speakers, um, right here is a, a little release with a little arrow pointing to the right and you push take it and push same way here on your left and you push that in and you hold it sorry guys my dog's barking we must have company my wife will answer that right. now how this right here yeah like I said you just push over and you push let me see if I can do it one handed push up it's a little awkward to do it one handed like this I didn't want it to get stuck for some reason let me see if I can get the radio turned back up on the right way she goes it'll probably be easier there we go and it just um, it lifts off guys and it's got, uh, it has a, uh, it has a, like a track running down the side. And then right here is the little, um, 
gate or little groove that goes down in and there's that little clip right here in the bottom what you push in and lets the speaker out it's made out of pretty good plastic not like that china stuff we get today it's uh the speaker the speaker it is a lot it probably weighs about a half a pound and plug it it does it it weighs about half a pound it, it don't weigh much so the magnet must not be very big inside on the speaker but i guess uh this was really cool i remember when these first came out um i think michael jackson thriller was big then and uh, one of my good friends in elementary school he had got a jam box and he also had got that album and i'll tell you what recess that day was great and i tell you he was a very popular guy that day but yes the boom box was a very cool and exciting thing it really was and um it brought a lot of joy to um us uh, plant or us uh well i guess what is it we're not are we planet x the ones that was 40 40 ish that what we're, our generation is called. I know that before me it was the boomers, so I think we're, um, we're planet, planet X. So we had a great time with our boom boxes, that's for sure. A lot of break dancing. Remember that? I tried that a couple of times. I hurt my neck really bad one time, and I, get, I pretty much gave it up. Gave it up after that one time. But it was fun when I was able to spin, try to sit there and spin around on my back. <coughs> the only thing I was doing is get my back dirty. I was never good at them. But there are sure some good, very talented people that could really do some really great things with their bodies. That's for sure. But all right, guys. Um, give me a second, and uh, I'm gonna get things situated here and get this plugged in, and we'll do it. Do a run through. Um, I had went to Goodwill into the flea market this weekend to try to find some tapes. I have some cassette tapes, but. Um, I'm going to try, I'm trying not to get copyright, so I'm, I was trying to find some older music, maybe to, maybe slide by on doing a little bit of, uh, you know, play time, but we'll, we'll see, um, probably will get a copyright, this is, uh, hits of the 50s, got Les Paul, Tony Bennett, and, uh, much other great people, um, haven't looked at that, I haven't listed that yet. And then I, um, I got this today at the flea market, Vern Gosden. I love Vern Gosden. My favorite song isn't on here, though. Um, it does have um, that just uh, about does it. I love that song. But my favorite song by Vern Gosden is Set Em Up Joe. Oh, my God. That's a great song. If you haven't ever heard it and you like country music, you need to listen to Set Em Up Joe and that just about does it he's uh he's got a great voice he was i think he's canadian and he was uh always called what was it something about his voice i think that's what they did call him the voice so all right guys give me a second i'll get things set up get this thing hooked up and get some electric running through her and i'll be right back all right guys i'm back i got her plugged in She's ready to go. Here's the function knob. We'll turn it on FM. We'll turn it up a little bit. There's those lots I was telling you about. It plays great, guys. To be a 1987, if I was, if I was to get rid of all my rails and keep just one, I say this one would probably be it. It'd be tough, but it it just plays great. It's very reliable. You 
got your amp. Not amp, but your EQ. Program was brought to you by Servants of Christ Tape Ministry. When writing, calling, or emailing, mention WEM. Here's what's coming up on WEM. Go through it. In touch with Dr. Charles Dan. Weeknights at seven. I don't know if I can do it on talk station. Visit WEMMFM.com and click on programming. I see. Over four decades of Christian talk and teaching. WEMM, Huntington, Charleston. Online see at WEMMFM.com. Isaac here, and here's a look at your forecast on 107.9 WEMM. I can't really tell a difference. The overnight will be around 30 with cloudy skies. With mu without music. Sunday morning will be a high of That's right. 45. Let's try to find some music. Monday will be a high of 50 with cloudy skies. I have to do it real quick, skies. though, so I won't get a copyright. And, uh, when they're rocking in Clark Town. I think it's um, something to do with the uh, mood, too. I did. I didn't have it on stereo. Guys. Let's try it one more time on... Stereo. It definitely does a little difference. Let's try AM radio now. I don't have the antenna up, so I don't know how good it'll do. Put the antenna up, and I think I just turned it off. Uh, this cord uh, that I'm playing with on it's about wore out. All right, we have the antenna up. Try to put it back here where I can break. It. Trying to pick up something. And does halfway decent. I say if I hooked up my external t antenna, it would probably work a lot better. All right, let's try the tape player, guys. Let's turn that noisy thing off. Get the antenna back down before I break it. I'm bad about breaking antennas. All right, that's back down. Get a recorded tape here tape I can record on. First of all, let's, uh, let's put in this 1950s. Hits of the 50s. Tony Bennett is the first song on here. Let's see here. Reject. That smooth. And put your tape in. I got, probably got an in room. Do. So, the wrong way, let's rewind it. 
There it goes, rewinding, guys. I remember before CD came out, or I should say before CD players were affordable for me to buy one. That's all I have is tape players, and I mean, I absolutely loved them. It was such a freedom. Um, it was just, I, we, I would sit there and, you know, record my favorite songs off the radio, and that was just the neatest thing. Almost there. There she is. Nice fish play. I don't know. This is like I said, guys. I just bought this tape, so I don't know if it sounds good or not. I think the EQ works better on the tape player. We'll try. Let's try to get her. Just it in good. See what Oberon Gosden sounds like. And that tape's good. I'm glad of that. That's a good 50, 50 cents. This is what the cover of the Burn Gosden looks like. A loan. And my nails look horrible, guys. I'm sorry. I should have cleaned them. I work a lot on. Um, I just tinker a lot, so I don't know how bad that looked. I need to cut. It needs cut and filed and clean. All right, guys, let's see what this looks like. Sounds like I should say. Uh, two. Well, I'm going to rewind this, so I'm not going to bore you with this one. So let me get this rewound, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Fixed my fingernail. I'm gonna cut it and give it a nice smooth pollen. Alright, let's push play, play. We're all I've yeah. been gone much longer than I care to be. Take me back. Yeah, it sounds great. Where the heart of Dixie. And I'm really surprised that the uh, um, the belt on the tape player is still in good shape, because um, almost everyone that I've messed with from in the '80s, the, those belts are gone and they're gummy. They're I, I hate messing with them because you touch it and your your fingers are just jet black. It's just it's the it's the most awfulest gunk that could ever be possibly get stuck to your hands and if any of you guys have ever messed with you know exactly what I'm talking about but yes that sounds pretty good I can't hardly wait to see it all punch me to the moon and burn again alright let's see how it records guys um Take it out. Put in my record tape. I think this has some of my sound effects from my old video. If I got it on the right side, which I don't.
I have noticed if the tape is full, almost done, it, it slows down. So, um, it may be getting a weak belt. I don't know. Or maybe it's just normal. That is a lot of tape. Alright, give us a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's find something to record. Let me see. I'll look up something here. Google, look up 1920s and 30s music. push um, record I don't know if you had to some of the ones you had to push both of them down at the same time I don't know about this no this one does it you just gotta hold down do the record all right let's push Let's see if it recorded. And this was my most favorite part about the tape player. I mean, they've just about got everything today made where you can't record. You can't record movies, and you know, that's just they've just got it where you can't do it, and it's not right. Especially, I know um, back in when I was in high school um, on my big stereo that I bought when I was when I first got my first job, I went to buy here, pay here and uh, rent on and I bought my first radio and it was a sharp and I paid probably right with the time I got it paid off and everything it was probably about nineteen hundred dollars but I mean I, I wouldn't take I wouldn't ch change anything if I could on because I had such a great time with it but long story short you know I, we would we all would do it all my friends and everything we would make each other tapes you know I would sit down and I would record all the songs that I would like and that I want to share with my friends and it was just great Rewind it. It is a little bit slow when it when it's a full tape on it. There it is, guys. Good old technology. Now, back in the day, it sounded better if you had the. It sounded better if you had the Doyle tape players, and you put your um, recording tape on one side, and then the original master on the other, and you just, and it it was almost like perfect. It had great uh, if it was a good tape, and you know there you, everything had to be nice and clean and. It couldn't be an old crappy tape, but you would get a really good quality recording. You know, all right, guys. Um, I think that about wraps this up. Um, this 1987 um, Unitech boombox from days that's already passed. Oh, the great 80s and 90s. But we still have a bunch of great times ahead. So. You all have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy this. I enjoy making them. And I hope it brought some kind of pleasure in your day. I'll see you all the next time.
here on Redneck Ways. Bye, guys.